everyone, Arlene here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again. And I wasn't expecting to have another video for this week. I really wasn't. I was gonna skip a day. Today is Wednesday. I was gonna skip tomorrow and do a video that I have in the can for Friday. I was perusing around YouTube a little bit this morning and now one YouTube it was the wreathing group again in the in, on Facebook and a lady had gone to Michael's and she had gotten herself a bunch of grab bag boxes from Michael's why well, I'd never heard of them before I'd heard of them one time before Angie if you're watching had mentioned them to me for like a, a year ago and I went into my Michael's looking and they didn't have anything so I picked up my phone this morning and I called them and I said you know, and they kind of know me too in there as a, you know, as a YouTuber. And I said, hi, my name is Arlene and I'm a YouTuber. Oh yeah. And she knew who I was. So I was like, oh, hello. And I said, do you happen to have any grab boxes or bags? And she said, we sure do. We have six of them left. And I went, oh, okay. Well, we'll head on over there. So I be bopped on over, which is a little trek <laughs> to Michael's. And they had, they were still boxing stuff up over there. So, uh, so anyway, I got in there and I got over to Michael's and lo and behold, there they had some left over. And I went shopping in Michael's first just a little bit because I felt bad about just kind of going through the line and picking up these boxes and not purchasing anything else. Not like I don't purchase other things in there because I certainly do. But I thought, well, I want to have something to put all of my correspondences in from you guys and I thought I really want something special to because I'll save them I'll save them you guys they're very special things to me so I will save them and I'm still trying to decide by the way whether I want to put that stuff out on uh, YouTube or not I know uh, that I, I may do a standalone video here coming up or mention it in my uh, Q&A just to get y'all's thoughts on that and don't give them to me here because they'll get lost in the shuffle of everything else that I'm going to be doing in this. So let me give me a chance to do like a standalone video on that and then I'll take your guys comments and we'll see what to do as far as me showing what I get from my P.O. box. I know a lot of people do P.O. box openings or friend mail and things like that which I love to watch myself and uh, you know, I might just have to say, if you're going to send me something and you don't want it to be seen on YouTube, then, you know, let me know that. I had one lady who let me know. I don't want this on the internet. But, but I totally respect that. I totally respect that and will honor that always. So don't worry about that, you guys. If you don't want your stuff seen or heard, but anyway, I'm going to hush. Don't comment on this part of my video. <laughs> Wait until I do a standalone video and I'll try to do, get that up next week and then we'll discuss it. But first thing next week will be my Q&A. I haven't recorded that yet, but that's going to be on Monday because I would like those to go up on Monday. Maybe Tuesday I'll do the standalone video for and we'll discuss my P.O. Box. So I won't go to my P.O. Box again until I've discussed it with you guys. So regardless. All right. But anyway, I wanted to find something that I could put all of your beautiful correspondences in. And so I got this pretty box. They were 40% off and it was $16.99. And this says on it, I thought this was apropos. It says, every day is a good day to be thankful. The true warmth of the season comes from sharing with others. Now, could that not be any more perfect to hold all of my special correspondences in so this will go in my bedroom probably over there by my cedar chest or by my dresser or something like that somewhere in my bedroom and uh, I will keep all of your beautiful beautiful correspondences in here so I did pick this up as I said it was 40% off and I just love that I think it's just beautiful so pretty makes me feel good just to look at that and then to know what's inside of it oh my goodness touches my heart and then I just picked up three little tufts of some uh, spring flowers, little daisies. We've got like kind of a, these are different, yeah. Kind of orange and pink tuft. And then this is kind of a orange and yellow. And then pink 
and yellow. I thought these would be pretty on my little stand to, you know, cut up and kind of stick in there. I thought it'd be, I bought them, I bought these, blooper, here we go. <laughs> I bought these with that, I have it sitting over there on my counter, with the three-tiered uh, wrought iron tray in mind. So there we go. So I'm going to take these, this box and these little tufts over here on the counter and I'm going to get them out of our way because we are going to open up some Michael's grab bag boxes. This one's heavy. So we're going to see what's in these puppies. I've never done this before. I'm excited. I had a knife sitting here. What to do with it? I am so excited. What in the world did I do with my knife? Hang on. I just had it. Oh, here it's right in front of me. Uh, no, let me anyway, let me put these away. Hang on, I'll be right back. I don't have my cup of tea today. I should. I should make myself a cup of tea. But anyway, I'll do one box. How about that? Uh, but as I said, I've never, never tried anything like this. It says uh, four dollar clearance each. So I paid eight dollars, you know, for two. No coupons or additional discounts can be applied. Grab bag sales are final. While supplies last, no rain jacks. So apparently they do this a couple of times a year is what she told me on the phone. They do this, and I don't know when the other time. I can see why after the holidays they might want to do this. This is a good way for them to get rid of, you know, whatever merchandise. So Chris said I needed to tell you the story about my little knife here. <laughs> I have been using this knife, and he got me a beautiful, let me show you. You know at Christmas, you know, we always have knives with us, or scissors, or both, with us at Christmas time. Because invariably, you get something that you need to use a knife to open, you know. So Chris told me I should tell you this story, because he just gets a chuckle out of me. This is one of those really cheapy little knives. One, somebody gave him a whole big set of these and bigger ones, different sizes, you know, one year for Christmas. And I grabbed up this knife out of that box and I have used it ever since. It's super easy to open and shut and it's, well, he sharpens it for me. So he keeps it sharp, but this is my favorite little knife. Where's my green knife? Where's my green knife? You don't know how many times I say, okay, I want my green knife. Got to get my green knife. Keep this with me Christmas Eve. I keep it with me here at the counter when, you know, my grab bag, my junk drawer there. And I use it. Well, Chris said, well, he saw me using this all the time. He said, well, let me get her a nicer knife one year for Christmas. So he got me a really pretty little pink knife. But it's really hard. I don't, there I can open it. It's really sharp too. It's really cute little knife, but I never can remember. It's like you got to push it to the side or something. There we go. You got to push it to the side and then it closes. But it's like, I'm always fiddling and fumbling with it when I know how to use this one. So Chris said I needed to tell you the knife story because he got me this really pretty and more expensive knife, but I used the little cheapy green knife. And I will continue to use my green knife. <laughs> All right, let's get into this first one here. I'm excited. This is kind of cool because I don't, I have no idea what's in here, obviously. I have no idea what I'm fixing to haul for you guys. <clears throat> and I have no idea how to, what the secret is to get them open either. Hang on. Or they tape it like it's Fort Knox. Ooh. Wow. Holy, my gosh, look at all this. I shouldn't have talked so long at the beginning. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. Well, I've got a little letter. I'm not sure which way it would go like this, I guess. The letter N, A-R-L-Y-N-N, Arlen. <laughs> got a letter Z. With a Florida Lee on it, though. Look, it's got a Florida Lee. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh, look. Little stuffed birds. I'm shaking. Look at me shaking. I'm so excited. I'm like a little kid at Christmas. Two little pink ones and a blue one. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. And then it looks like these were like ornaments, maybe. Two of these. 
little Christmas ornaments. Originally $6.99, you guys. I'm going to tell you the prices. These were $6.99 each. The letters were $9.99 each. And I paid $4 for this box. Four. Four dollars. No kidding. Oh my goodness. All right. Look at this. Peppa's Christmas Witch. Peppa is a pig. <laughs> you know who I'll give this to <laughs> for her students. Ho, 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 chuckle Santa Claus. I hope you've all been good. He makes a list of what everyone would like for Christmas. George, would you like a racing car? Peppa would like a doll. Too cute. Kristen. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How about a little pink Christmas tree? Now I'm not sure where I'll put that. <sighs> but somewhere. That's cute. Ooh, looky here. What are these? Candles? Shatterproof ornament. Oh my gosh, I've got two boxes of these. Shatterproof ornaments. Look how pretty. You've got to be kidding me. i got to open one of these up. Wow, well, that's what they are. They're little ornaments. Well, they'll be pretty on the big tree I put here in the family room. I put a lot of gold on that tree. Wow, that's a deal right there. Holy guacamole. Let's see. How much was this? $10. Goodness gracious. Two boxes of those. Wow. Uh, let's see. I have another little ornament set. It looks like some rose gold. and I could use those. They're cute. And then a bigger set. Look at this. <gasps> See, that will go on that tree out in the living room. Isn't that pretty? That is just perfect. The perfect colors for that tree. <sighs> it was meant to be. I picked this one. Because I stood there and looked at them for a while. Going, mm, which one? And one lady said, there's poinsettias in that one. I said, I don't want the poinsettias. So I didn't choose that one. <laughs> Oop, I have another letter here. With a little... It's like a, a hat on an eye. Now the letters, you guys, I don't know what I'm going to do with the letters. <laughs> but here's another little, same as the other one, ornaments, little Christmas ornaments. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a big Christmas ornament. Now, maybe outside in my red wagon decor. I probably wouldn't put this inside, but maybe out there. Kind of cute. There's another. Oh, it's this is this looks like a um was uh, five dollars and it looks like just a journal maybe. Let me look. Come here. like a little journal. Cute though. Mm -hmm. Cute. All right. This is a box. $35. You have got to be kidding me, you guys. I'm not kidding you. $35. What in the world? I mean, it's $35, but what would I do with this? It's tape shut. I don't think it has anything in it. An empty box for $35? What in the world? I mean, it's, it's heavy, but it's not like anything special. Maybe up in the purple bedroom or in the happy room. Something blingy like that would work up there, I think. Wow. And I got a pillow. <laughs> now, this is an interesting pillow. Again, maybe the happy room or the turquoise room. 
Actually, I think the turquoise, either one. I have all the pink, remember, and orange. Wow. It's got a white backing. It's got little fringes around. Oh my goodness gracious, how much was this? Regularly $40, you guys. And of course, you know, even at Christmas it was half off, but then even 20. What in the world? Wow, this is a deal. Run to Michael's, you guys. Check this out, it looks, these are sticker books. I'll give these to Kristen too. Santa's Workshop. Aw, cute stickers. Really cute. And I got two books of these. And they were, I don't know how much a book, a dollar. So they were a dollar. Okay, so there you go. And <laughs> I got a little pick, a little stocking pick. That's cute. Regularly $2.99. Well, this is right up my alley. Got me some scented, uh, I have, actually I have a little basket of them in my mudroom. I'll replace them right now, I mean today, with these pine cones. Scented pine cones smell like cinnamon, $5 for that. Goodness gracious, and then check these out. Are these up my alley, or are these up my alley? Oh my goodness, two tufts of burgundy berries. Each originally $20 and of course I would not have bought them for $20 but still $10 $20 just for these $20 for the pillow if that was on sale I mean that's $40 just between these two things I, this is incredible this is a coup you guys oh my goodness I really am I'm going to go ahead and put this up first thing tomorrow morning if I could get it edited Lord, Lord willing I'll get it edited and get it up for you guys tomorrow morning so those of you who don't work and or might want to stop by after work or something and see or call your Michaels and see if they have this happening uh, and she was boxing more up while I was there she said yeah I got more stuff to box up so you know this might this might be going on for a while but I do want to get it up as soon as possible for you guys so that you guys can see and those of you who may be seeing this later on in time I'm sorry about that, but this is for, you know, for you guys who watch me every day religiously. Bless your hearts. I love you. Get this up tomorrow for you guys, for sure. That was box number one. I still have another one. Oh, my goodness. This is craziness, you guys. I have never in my life. Leave these out. And I'm going to take this upstairs. I'm going to leave this out. I'm going to leave that in this little box out. And I'm going to take them up in the bedrooms up there. And these little birdies I'm going to leave out. And I'm going to put them into my spring. I know I had a blue one. What happened to my blue one? He's here somewhere. Into my spring, uh, here he is. Spring decor. But the Christmas stuff, obviously, I'll take downstairs. And I'll take these berries downstairs. They, they will go more for Christmas. The only thing... And I think I'm going to put these up in the happy room somewhere, too. Just even though they look like ornaments, you know what, guys? They can be used as decor, you know, all year. Why not? But the Christmassy, Christmassy stuff I'm going to put downstairs. That's Kristen's. I'll give Kristen the book and the stickers for her students. And honestly, the letters and this book are the only two things that I don't know what I would use for. I'm not giving them away or getting rid of them quite yet, but I may be able to think of something to do with them. So there's box number one. Goodness gracious, what in the world will be in box number two? <sighs> All right, where's my knife? Here we go. Maybe I should have bought more than two, right? That's pretty cool. Or did I just get lucky on my first one? You know, where are they all? Awesome. Oh my goodness. All right, it's full of stuff. Check it out. Let me move Kristen's pile here. 
got a little package of gourds. <laughs> they were five dollars. You know I'll use those. Build a scene. Oh, this is cute. I'll give this to Kristen too for her students. It's just a little, uh, just a little cornucopia, and how to, and, you know, and all the little parts and pieces to make it. Oh, actually, I'll hold this onto it for her. It looks like this is mostly fall stuff, which is cool. Little stickers. More little pumpkins. See, she gets this stuff all the time to sort wood. These are wooden, wood little wood stickers. But she could use these. She gets, I'm forever buying her beads and stuff like that for sorting because, you know, the, they do sorting little. Uh, activities plate kit for a turkey <laughs> look at this how many did they that came in here again this is perfect for teachers if you guys are teachers this stuff is really good 336 pieces you can make check out this pillow for the happy room Look at that, but look how much it was. It was $40 to begin with, or $35. Little birds, cute. This is, this is the fall box here, I think. <laughs> but this, you can make little turkey plates. It's like a kit to make, I don't know how many, maybe eight or 10. That's cute. Got some ribbon, look at that. And is it, it's not wire. I don't think it's wire. Extra wide ribbon, six yards. You never know. I might could use that for something. And look at this. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's a little blingy for in here maybe, but you never know. I don't know. Felt puppet kit. Cute. I'm giving all this stuff to Kristen. She can, you know, if her little kids need something to do for, you know, maybe she can make up, you know, they have uh, their stations that they go around from one station to the other. You know, she, she'll just have a heyday with this stuff. This is like perfect. Give thanks. Pumpkin house. Oh my goodness. Look at that. All the parts and pieces to make a little pumpkin house. Oh my gosh, so cute, so cute. Ten dollars originally for that. Build a scene. Here's a turkey. What else did I have here? I had a cornucopia and plates. So I've got a cornucopia and a, and a turkey. Of course, the little kindergartners would want to do the turkey, not the cornucopia. <laughs> got a little sippy cup. for that got some greeting cards here oh my goodness Christmas Christmas cards <laughs> and an extra envelope it looks like I bet you they just throw stuff in these boxes huh Christmas greetings it's got Father Christmas on it originally four dollars and Happy, joy, merry, jolly, wonder. $3. Cute. And an extra envelope, unless there's another card in here. I don't see another card, though. And an extra envelope. Okay. I'm not looking, gift, looking a gift horse in the mouth. There's a nice pick, fall pick with corn and leaves. Good Lord knows, I'll use that. Little cookie cutters. A Christmas tree, a star, and a little gingerbread man. Seven dollars. Grippy cookie cutters. Do you know what Kristen makes every year for her students? She makes uh, cinnamon and applesauce ornaments, and she's always getting uh, new cookie cutters. Hello. This is Kristen's box, obviously. 
What in the world is this? Oh, craft tube kit. <laughs> I guess to make little whatever you want. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Foam stickers. I'm telling you, she buys this stuff all the time. This will be perfect for her. More foam stickers. Perfect. Another cookie cutter. Of, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Maybe that's why it didn't get purchased. <laughs> I guess an elf, an elf shoe. <laughs> Cute. <sighs> Gift wrap kit. Okay, got a little ribbon, got a little tag, cute, got a little card. Peace. That's cute. Some more stickers. Like we're in that box, right? Where were the stickers? Were they in this box or that box? Set them aside there, over there. Got a little kitty cat pick. <laughs> oh my goodness. We just, Chris, where did you go? He just left. We just bought these. We just bought exactly these a couple weeks ago. I think I hauled them. <laughs> $1.99. But we just, I should have waited. What in the world? <laughs> and a stamp. I love stamps. Oh, here's another elf. Got two elves. Cookie cutters. And then here's a stamp. Santa's little helper. I used to use stamps a lot in my scrapbooking. And I still do use uh, scripture. Uh, most of mine are scriptures or like uh, inspirational quotes that I, you know, when I send thank you notes or uh, like I sent out all the save the date stuff and then I sent them all my family uh, DVDs of the of the my whole family is very musical my dad and his three brothers were playing their instruments and my aunt was on the piano she's no longer with us so I recorded we recorded everything Stacy had a bit a whole show to do um, to give out the prizes and and she was awesome. And so I have the, all that on video or on DVD. So I made up video DVDs for everybody or put them on, um, not DVDs, but I put them on the thumb drive. I made thumb drives up for everybody. I made a big video for everybody. And then I sent them to them and I used stamps and stamped something about family or maybe a scripture and a heart or whatever on their envelopes. So I do use stamps, so that's perfect. And one more thing, which is just like super cute and Baby's first Christmas. Well, I can't use that quite yet, but I'll put it away and maybe someday I'll have a little grandbaby I can give that to. And that's it, you guys. That's it. But oh my gosh, that's enough, huh? Oh, wow, I can't believe it. I cannot believe all of this came in these two boxes. So, like I said, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go right ahead now and go ahead and Get this edited and I'll be truthful if I can get it up tonight for you guys so that you guys can think about it and if you want to go tomorrow you could go tomorrow maybe you know I, I just I really feel like I want to get this up for you guys so you guys can see what a coup this is I'm not sure if you guys were already aware of this little business or not I as I said my friend Angie told me this last year and I just had and I thought about it because I saw this lady in this in the reading group have a bunch of pictures of what she purchased and I thought about it, I thought, well, let's run over there just to see, or, well, I called them and found out if they had them, and then I ran over there. So, I mean, this is a coup. I've got some stuff I can use in my decorating. I've got a ton of stuff I can give to Kristen for her to use with her kindergartners. That's awesome. It saved her money, saved me money. You know, why not? For $4. For $4, I've spent $8 and probably got, I don't even know, a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff, I would say. Wouldn't you say? I don't know. Probably close to it. I'm not complaining. <laughs> so I will try to get this up 
pretty quick here. And uh, like I say, if I can get it edited, I'll get it up this evening for you guys. This is Wednesday evening, so I'll try to. And then I'm going to take tomorrow off probably. Either that or I'll go ahead and put the video that I have in the can up. No, I'll need to edit that tomorrow. I'll get that up on Friday for you guys. And then Monday will be my Q&A. And then Tuesday will probably be me discussing about the, uh, the P.O. Box. You know, don't, like I said, please don't comment about that in this video. Let's keep this about the unboxing. I just kind of got off on a tangent on that here. But anyway, all right, you guys. I'm going to go so I can get to editing, so I can get this up for you guys. So, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.